In this clip we'll show you how our project manager Un and his team removed both main and mizzen masts using a 7 tonne crane. The first step was to loosen off the mizzen turnbuckles since this is a deck stepped mast. The crane was booked in advance so we had to ensure the masts were ready on the day. Un and the crane driver, who have worked together many times, discussed the strategy of removing first the mizzen and then the mainmast. Lek, the Burmese worker, who has been grinding the hull, is winched up the mast by Jamie. His job is to remove the triatic, the cable that connects the mizzen to the main, and then secure a slip around the mizzen for the crane to lift out. Using predetermined hand signals, Un is able to communicate with the crane operator. The two foresails and their furling mechanisms, wrapped together with the halyards, are taken down the side of the boat. Because the main mast is mounted through the hull, our carpenter Tom is tasked with ensuring the electrical cables for the navigation lights don't get caught when the mast is lifted. Two rubber wedges, used to prevent the mast from moving when in position, have to be removed before the mast is hoisted. Okay, down there. Check cable. Check cable. Check 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 With the mast successfully hoisted, it is manoeuvred to the side of the boat and the lads race down to grab oil drums. These are used to rest the mast horizontally.
With the drums in position, the crane operator gently lowers the mast as the boys keep the mast in position. PSS Boatyard is based near Satun, South Thailand. Many of its customers are fishing boats, but the yard also handles sailboats too. Just as well, since the removal of rigging and masts is an operation that has to run smoothly. Fortunately, Un has had much experience in this area. With the mast in position, the crane negotiates the boats around it to move the mast to the other end of the boatyard. Operation complete.